Please. About to be a vex. So yeah, we read me. I will go to teach you something. I'll go to follow. You know, will, you if you climb your geo poop, it go collect my go to correct them. Let's see what they tell you truth. How are you, Jari Bongoli and your giddy? I'm doing very well. I'm doing very well. Daddy, please, please, you need to take it easy on we on in the diaspora. Somebody say please. somebody say send your accounts. Look, I send my account. The person, the message touch him. Please, Daddy, please take it easy on us. No, well, you um, get sense now. That, Why did you come home for uh, inauguration? Is it not so that Nigeria can be better? Thank you, Adam. That, 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 that is please. <laughs> it is well. Uh, all right, Daddy Free. So, um, what you actually are talking about is a very serious issue. Mm. And while you were speaking, I was jotting some things down. Um, you talked about um, the high class, middle class, low class, high class don't travel, and all of that stuff. First, you know, relatively. And what people need to realize is that high class is high class all around the world. Once you're in that high class, so as a high class, why would you want to go somewhere and become middle class? Because all of you that are in that high class, you guys even went, attended the same university as 20-something-year-olds. You guys dated yourselves. You guys do businesses together. Then you now expect, you come and visit me. But we are in Nigeria where we see that if Dangote is doing an event, Bill Gates will come and sit down by his side. Dangote's children are doing wedding. Bill Gates will travel. Uh, Bill Gates wanted to see Ashiwaju. It was through Dangote. Now, you even talked about the uh, Grand Prix in Monaco. Do you know DJ Copy said, once said, she was on a balcony in their home in Monaco. I said, I'm watching the Grand Prix, Monaco Grand Prix. <laughs> That's mm. what DJ Copy said. When I saw that, I was like, wow, there are levels yeah. to this thing. You know. There are levels to DJ Copy. Hey, one count DJ, flat. Me and the UK. DJ, 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 well. DJ, DJ Copy said, DJ, I, I, like, they, I think, they, I think was it Insta blog that carried it or some, some um, blog carried it and all that. It made major news. For somebody to, do you know how much they pay to go and watch Monaco Grand Prix? For you to, so that means the, the uh, racetrack goes past where you live. That's another uh, my, level of... Uh, God, I want me to see this thing. Someone says, I pay a lot of bills, close to $10,000 monthly. Is $10,000 money? As in, I saw a pay in your nilly, in your condo, just to, to show you, saying they do well abroad, they pay $10,000 monthly. Do you know well, what it costs to have a house on the... That, the balcony over overlook have you been to monaco before i've been to monaco before no i've not been to monaco before i don't pay <laughs> it's, 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 it's i went i watched I've, I've been to Cannes film festival my boss owns a house in nice you know there's no airport wow. in monaco so you land in nice and go to monaco by train or drive or whatever it is i think and they use their was it was cheap i mean is it boats or yachts they use their yachts to go there if the house is there it's not it's not for the it's not for the uh it's not for the faint-hearted and the, their taxes are very high in monaco very very high in monaco their taxes that they pay there is very high so yeah they pay very high taxes in monaco and monaco is run like a country it's not run like like um okay hmm. monaco is run like a country it's not run like a state it's not like a country on its mm -hmm. own so that it is it is the middle class that actually travels in nigeria because nigeria is what we're talking about is the country we're talking about here it's the middle class and fortunately and unfortunately it is the middle class that drives the economy mm -hmm. because it's the middle class that pays taxes so if you're middle, so the high class and the low class, they don't travel. High class is not going to go somewhere and become upper middle class. Or middle somebody class. just said, low class. Okay, enjoy the message. Make a hail up, no vex. Wait him be named. Hey now, I said somebody I said Monaco is the country. Ah, what did you, you, you guys say just now? Serious. I said Monaco, Monaco is run like a country. Is that not what yes, I said? But, Koyas is prince. He's a country yeah, on the Well, let me not even respond. So, but you I know what I was even saying. What I'm, what I'm even saying is that um, the low class, the low class, cannot 
afford to pay taxes. The high hmm. class can, cannot go somewhere and become upper middle class or middle class. Now, uh, we are talking about America and all of these things. America currently, I was watching a, a documentary yesterday, and they said America owes about $75 trillion. God, God bless you. America today owes $75 trillion US dollars. The global debt in the world is about $300 trillion. So they now mm -hmm. broke it down. They said that because I know that America and federal taxes, as in federal government, sorry, they owe about $31 trillion. They owe about $31 trillion. Um, the states owe about $3 trillion. Uh, uh, I think for public uh, debts and then um, um, household debts and all that, they owe about $41 trillion. What the Western world has been able to do is to reduce wealth and income inequality. That is what a lot of people do not understand. They reduced the wealth and income inequality. And how were they able to do that? They did that through taxation. They did that through benefits. And they did that through increasing minimum wage. Now, recently, the government of Nigeria did not increase taxes, but expanded taxes, saying, you people that are not paying taxes, come and pay your taxes. Nigerians are groaning. Nigerians are complaining. Why are they charging too many taxes? Now I ask them, how do you expect the government to get money? The government can only get money through taxation and money that they receive from government-owned um, enterprises. Or they go and borrow loan. Or they go and borrow loan. So if you go and borrow Borrow loan, for example, today will be the ones complaining that we have borrowed loan. The loan that we are even receiving today, that they received, like was it last week or two weeks back, were loans that Nigeria had already applied for since 2018 during mm. this time that they are just releasing recently. Because the current government of Nigeria has not borrowed loan yet. Though. The government of Nigeria, do you know, in the news today, they said, um, you know, the shippers are when they bring ships into Nigeria, mm. they said those ships. They are owing taxes of about 530 something billion naira that they face. Hmm. They don't pay taxes in Nigeria. That is in the ranking in the world, we rank 167 out of 207 in tax body. That means okay, we are paying taxes. Like how much are these taxes going in as your revenue? We know they pay taxes for Nigeria, but we want the best things of life in Nigeria that we cannot afford in Nigeria. Governments can only make money through taxes if not expand their taxes. So that if it's when we talk about life abroad let me tell and you life something. in Nigeria. Let me tell you something. Hold on, Bongolin. A friend of mine was a friend of mine who brings in cars. We're having a conversation. You know recently yes, they increased the duties, the custom duties at the port. Yes, sir. But actually, they didn't increase the custom duty. What they did was, they in because the the of this uh, dollar thing that Tinubu did that the dollar is now parallel unifying it, uh, unifying the rate. dollar. God bless you. They now increase the dollar that they used to collect duties from cars from four hundred and something naira to a dollar to 500 it's still subsidized 589 589 589 they are not using they are not using they the 750 not, something so nigeria is still subsidizing every car you bring in they are still subsidizing that is, dollar for that is, don't tell anybody what i'm about to tell you let me whisper it we are still paying subsidy for a subsidy don't tell anybody you we are still paying for a subsidy you know why mm. because the current dollar rate according to the investors and exporters window is about 746 i think when i checked yesterday mm. a liter of a liter of gasoline costs about one dollar and one cent so actually right now we should be paying about 800 naira to a liter mm. but we are still paying 500 
or 511 or 520 or 540. We are paying just above 500. So there's some form of subsidy going on. They've not completely removed it 100%. I can face anybody and let them come and give me, let them come and debunk what I said. I say what I said with my full chest. There's still some form of subsidy going on. Daddy Freeze, a I lot of people hear, do not... I was not there. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people do not understand why they did that unification of, why they drew the dollar. Say, so, okay, let market forces determine it. Because they need to understand that the government always use their foreign reserve to compensate. Like, if you have low, if you have high so high demand and low supply, so you pump in more from your foreign from your foreign reserves to cushion it. That's how you control your currency. But at the rate that it was going, Nigeria was losing maybe about like in May alone, we lost about one billion dollars in our foreign reserve. About one billion dollars. It's not sustainable now. It's not sustainable. So they threw everything open. Now the dollar of finance. But the point I'm trying to make here at the end of the day is that people need to understand that the Western world solved wealth and income inequality. That is why a 50 cent, like you talk about 50 cents, can afford to drive a Ferrari that you said, even though you said the banning, the banning, whatever you did. But a Bongoli also can drive maybe a Lexus or, or a Range Rover or a Mercedes to get a luxury that is somewhat similar to what you will get in a Ferrari, but I cannot get the same luxury it's getting anyway. But just something something pretty decent. That is what they call the bridge the gap. Because remember also Please, if you are enjoying Bongoli, send me those gifts. Where are my money guns? If you are enjoying Bongoli, oh yeah, we have Twitter people, double click the screen, double click the screen. If you are so, learning something from Bongoli, please, you two people, what's wrong with you people? Sting Joe's. Where are my super chats and super stickers? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, pop them, pop them. And if you're watching on Instagram, go to Facebook, search for Daddy Freeze. Scroll down to today's video on Facebook. Click on the video, bottom left-hand corner. You'll see how to buy stars. Make I even they praise you. I'm looking for the first person to buy me 1,000 stars. <laughs> Bongoli, oh, yeah, over to you. Continue. So they have what is called the consumer credit system. So with that consumer credit system, people go are going and buying and purchasing things on debt. Somebody is paying for it. You see that credit card that we swipe? Somebody is paying for it though. It's not free to you. And that's why I'm saying that the US alone, in US alone, the total debt is seven hundred and is $75 trillion. Total. The Fed, the government alone owes about 30.6, which is 31. And then when you begin to break it down, it's 75. Because remember, the credit card debts that we are owing, they did not calculate it. Hmm. And so, debt is not a bad thing. The problem here is, in Nigeria, for example, if they bring in a consumer credit system, which the government is saying they are going to bring, it's not necessarily a bad thing if you turn that debt that loan you are going to go and get into assets. Not making that debt, turn it into cons for consumption. You don't borrow a loan for consumption. You borrow a loan turning it into assets. So in the Western world, when you go and collect that mortgage, you buy a house, for example, I live in Texas, for example, because things have gone up. So the house that you buy for $250,000, like two, three years back, now you get it for four hundred thousand. You get it for four hundred thousand. So, right now, right now, look at how much you have to go and borrow as debt. But that house is going to become assets at the end of the day. But you are not borrowing to eat. Would you rather borrow money to eat pasta, or would you rather borrow money to? To be the pot that they cook the pasta in, mm. because tomorrow you cook another pasta. For that, if, that if he has, that if he, he, he has supposed to pay me, you are supposed to pay me. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're giving them hot. Ah, no, 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 I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You have to give them. They have to learn. 
No, no. So what I'm saying here is, would you rather be the pasta? Would you rather be the pasta or be the post that they used to cook the pasta? Mm. So that's why I'm saying that in Nigeria, for example, Nigerians are actually doing, when it comes financially, because of the kind of system we run, like that if you rightfully said when you wanted to buy your car, you buy your car a certain price, then you multiply it by two if you are going to get it at your doorstep in Nigeria. When you put all the custom duties and all of that. And it is going to be more expensive. That if you see all, most of the people that come on your platform and talk from, uh, from the Western world and complain about Nigeria, they are mostly hypocrites. You know I call them hypocrites, respectfully. You know I call them hypocrites? Because things have gone up by almost double here in the Western world. In the last one year, things have not doubled in Nigeria. Hmm. Things have not doubled in Nigeria. But things have gone up here. Ask them how much they are paying for rent now. Ask them how much they are paying for mortgage now. Ask them how much they are paying for water. Ask them how much they are paying for, for rice in the Western world today that it freeze. Ask them. Ask them. But they will come and complain. Somebody saying triple safe. Somebody saying triple daddy freeze. And if you want to even if you want to even understand this very go to our African stores that it freeze. Go to our African stores. You see those African stores in the Western world, they exploit the heck out of us in Nigeria. Nigerian stores, we Nigerians, we exploit the heck out of you. This same thing that you are buying in the Western world, in the game, 10 minutes, okay? No, no. This same thing you are buying in the Western world, okay? This same thing you are buying in the Western world, in the African store. Guys, go to a Chinese, go to Chinese, go to a Chinese store. You buy it for half the price. Though things have gone up, things have gone up. So, I, I, we 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 talk down on Nigeria at every. Don't get me wrong, things are tough in Nigeria. Nobody saying things are not tough in Nigeria. That if it's over a hundred million Nigerians are living under two dollar and ten cents, because that is the new uh, poverty something. The, the new poverty ranking or something like that, according to the World Bank. Over 100 million Nigerians. Now, that gets to population issue, where we need to do population control. Daddy Freeze, do you know that in North, in, do you know that in Northwest, that if you look at this thing I'm about to tell you, in Northwest, that's where we have the poorest Nigerians. Northwest is Jigawa, Katsina, Kano, Kaduna, Sokoto, Kebi and Zamfara. The fertility rate of a woman is 6.7. Hmm. That means one woman will bet at least 6.7 children in her lifetime. Hmm. In Northeast, Northeast consists of Bonu, Yobe, Gombe, uh, Bauchi, uh, Taraba, and Adamawa states. They are only 6.1. North Central is Niger State, Kwara State, Kogi, Nasarawa, Plateau, Benue. They let us add Abuja to it. That if it's their own, is about 5.3, 5.3 or something. Uh, five, is it 5.3 or something? Mm. Then now let's go down to the south. In southeast, the five states in the southeast, uh, Imu, Abia, Anambra, uh, Enugu, and Eboni. They are doing 4.7. One woman bets 4.7 children. In, in South South, that is a, a Dodo state, Delta state, Bayesa state, River state, Cross River, Kwaibon. They are doing in, um, four. Then in the Southwest, Lagos, Ogun, Ondo, Oyo, Ekiti, and Oshun. They are doing 3.7. Our, our revenue is not going up. Our revenue but is our not going up. In the we, we became we added ten million people in the last three years. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Our our no Niger, Nigeria's uh, population rates increase about three point five percent between three point five to four percent every year. So he, so you know at the end of the day we have so little resources. Listen we have to so what this guy resources. is saying. 
Yes. Principle Sir. one. These are the kind of dingbats I have to deal with. If I tell him now eh, that he's the LeBron James of buffoonery, it will look like I'm insulting him. He said, forget numbers, Joe. Waiting day ground for the poor masses. The reason why they are poor is because there are too many. They are, a, they are part of the cause of their poverty. But you can't... That if somebody put something... That if somebody put something here, somebody said, but they said education, um, population is good for the economy. Yes, population is good for the economy when the population it's has value. Productive. It has value. There is some form of value. It's not consume, consume, consume. Produce. That if it's, do you know the do you know the uh, labor productivity per capita of Nigeria? <laughs> don't, don't scare me, but just say it. It is about two dollars per uh, labor hour. Do you know the productivity, labor productivity in America uh -uh. here? Uh -uh. Because people like to compare Nigeria with America. It's, it's almost eighty dollars per labor hour. That is the productivity. So we are we are very unproductive in Nigeria, respectfully, uh -huh. compared to the rest of the world. We pay the least amount of taxes but we want mm. soft life. tell me where we are going to get the soft life from that if i watched hmm. this movie i watched this movie over the weekend the jacumo movie i'm not gonna mm. I'm, I'm not trying I'm spoiling the movie i'm not doing spoiler whatever but there was a scene that i saw and i saw the house and i saw uh, like a like a boat mm. and i was like ha 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 or more if i feel if i feel get money like this if i get this kind of house and i get this kind of boots which i define for western world i'm running hmm. back home i'm running back home there is no place like home there is hmm. no place like home there's no place like home honestly we are treated as second class third class citizens there are some things you dare not say there are there are some ways you look there are some things that a, a man that has a, the color of my background will do and say, you dare not say it to you. You dare not act that way. No be your country. You. No be your country. You. Oh, someone said, okay, so a black a person knows what they talk about. Yeah, at the end of the movie, that's true. Yes, Kendra, you're right. At the end of the movie, did you see that house? Did you see the settings? People are living like that in Nigeria now. In Nigeria, you go to Bar so Island, much. you will see and you'll be tired. Yeah, like people are living that life in Nigeria, but that if it's at the end of the day, uh, let me say something a little bit negative here. We know that in as Nigeria are tough like that, a lot of pe people that are making this money in Nigeria is not with ordinary eyes. So. Uh, we know, we know, we know. It's not, uh, it's not with it's not with ordinary eyes, so because Nigeria Somebody is still tough. Somebody just sent me four dollars. Big shout out to Olubenga Kupola. Thank you so much. If you enjoy me, go to YouTube. Via YouTube, you can send me super chats and super stickers. The live ends in five minutes, so we're listening to Bongoli. Whatever gift you want to send, send it now. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, so my fellow, my fellow Nigerians, brothers and sisters. Oh, so let me read this. Kem Kem, let me read you. How can you say Nigerians are not productive? People, they also bad for Nigeria. And the natives in the Western world are the ones who do not like to spend because their government is... My sister, respectfully, is fact that I deal with. I look at the GDP of Nigeria. If you don't know, GDP of Nigeria has reduced. Nigeria is no longer the, has the biggest GDP in Africa because of that unification of the dollar. So it has hmm. reduced. They are now like 300 and something billion dollars from four hundred ninety. No, 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 440 was 440, 440 before sorry, 41. Sorry, 440, no, 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 yeah. it's okay. okay. 441. No, that is that was using CBN dollar rates now. We are using that means Nigeria is dragging GDP with Romania, and Romania has a smaller population. That is, that, that is, this, 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 this is a fact. So, my sister, when you look at that, then you divide it with labor productivity hours. And in Nigeria, in 2016, the last I checked in, uh, in Niger uh, NBS, Nigerian Bureau of Statistics, because all these things I'm saying is free. Oh, 
go to Nigeria Bureau of Statistics, you see everything. You know. Bongoli is not, not pulling things from his head. Though. Go to Nigeria Bureau of Statistics. Though. I saw that when I, I read an article, they said we had 130 billion, 130 billion uh, man hours, labor hours at the time. And then you do the division, GDP divided by labor productivity hours. And Buhari was borrowing plenty of money to shock it, the GDP. To borrow, you know, we borrow, he borrowed 22 trillion, ways and means, our former president. So he shock it. So when you remove all those monies and all of that stuff, it's less than two dollars. That's our productivity as Nigeria. Our pro so there are some economies that tell you our productivity is 0.74 cents per day. That's per day. I'll be the hotel is 0.74 cents per day. So I'm gonna tell you it's two two dollars, two dollars per labor productivity hour. So, so my brothers and sisters, eh, we need to take it easy on Nigeria. Nigeria will work um, if we decide that Nigeria will Amen. work. Because it's we that we are the government. It's we that we are the government. Let us sell Nigeria. Let us sell Nigeria in a productive manner. We need investors. It is investment that will create jobs. The federal government cannot create jobs. The federal mm. government doesn't even have money to. They are talking about minimum wage, minimum wage up and down. Can you pay your bus? Can you pay your driver uh, thirty thousand? Can you pay your driver the hundred and fifty thousand naira? Because talk about minimum wage, minimum wage. Mm. Can we pay all, all of these things? We don't have the money. But I think let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That it works. Let me tell you something that Nigerians don't ever understand. I was having a conversation with a person, and they were talking about child labor. That okay. Daddy Freeze, why would you use a fourteen-year-old to do house girl? And although I've been lucky enough not to ever have had a house girl so young. I want to tell you something for free today eh, that many of you will never understand. If you don't use that 14-year-old girl to do house girl in Lagos so she can go to school, she'll be in the village and will amount to nothing. Mm. She'll be playing in the village. You've got to understand that the America that you are following, that they are telling you, ah, don't use children for house girl. Let me tell you, some children want to be used for house girl just so that they can get the opportunity to upgrade themselves and go to school. They will be daddy, in that village daddy, and they cannot daddy, afford please, to daddy, please, daddy, please, daddy, please. I want to leak another secret again. You know how I do. Daddy, please. Kids as young as 13, 12 years, they work in the farms in America here. I, I know that's, it's a secret to kids that are 12 years, 13 years, 11 years, 10 years, 14 years, they work in the farms here in America. Oh, wow. Don't, don't let all... That if it's these things are public information, Google search what I just said now. Now, now they say, okay, pay driver minimum of 150,000 naira. People go begin drive themselves. Driver no come get that 30,000 or 40,000 way in the end before. Way in the use, take managing family, go come sit down for house, no work. No, that no, Daddy Freeze. We we scream that that this minimum wage conversation. I understand. I feel the pains and all of that stuff. I understand because people in the diaspora we are sending over twenty billion dollars officially. I mean officially, officially, not unofficially to Nigeria. So we are feeling the pains. Daddy Freeze, minimum wage. We are not even doing uh, what's it called power uh, well, minimum wage. Is thirty thousand naira. That if it's over half of the states in Nigeria cannot afford to pay it. Over half of the states in Nigeria cannot pay thirty thousand naira as minimum wage. That if it's as I'm speaking with you, then if you take it to one fifty thousand, you know what will even happen to inflation. There will be serious inflation in the country. And secondly, will you pay your house one hundred and fifty thousand naira? Will you pay that lady? That's working in your saloon, 150,000. We need to look at where we are as a nation and how much we can afford. Things are hard and things are tough. This minimum wage that they're talking about is not only for civil servant, too, because private the people that are doing meeting, private uh, institution, uh, private uh, institutions too are there doing the meeting. And if you're an employer of labor, you are private too. Is either you're public or private. So you see, 
my brothers and sisters some, some people say i'm mixing i yeah i mix it i talk uh, good i talk bad i talk ugly because i'm being realistic i'll say yes it's working i'll say yes it's not working it depends on where the conversation is headed but all that i'm just trying to say is that let us give nigeria an opportunity and how how would we give Nigeria approach? I'm not going to expand what I just said in secret. Do you want the, you want them to come and carry me? But but you go on Google and go and Google said what I said. You see it there. Go and watch documentaries. It's on YouTube. It's free. Go and what I just said now. Go and watch it there. Hmm. What I'm just trying to say is that we as Nigerians we have to be good Nigerians. We as Nigerians have to be good Nigerians for Nigerians to work. It is we Nigerians that are police officers. It is we Nigerians that are EFCC. It is we Nigerians that are in politics. It is we Nigerians that are civil servants. It is we Nigerians that are the that are the bank officials that these monies that they siphon out of the country go through. Because mm. the money has to go through the banks in Nigeria. A lot of us, most of us are, have been beneficiaries of these uh, sharp practices. Let us call it speed is speed here. But if we say we know better now and we want to do better now, let us let the change that we want in Nigeria start with us, Daddy Face. That's all that I have to say, Daddy Face. Let it start with us. Uh, uh, some people, I hear some people talking election, some people bringing up tribalism. Tribalism, the election, all this will not take us anywhere. We'll be where we are. Eh? We'll be where we are. There's something yeah. going on somewhere in Nigeria. There's, there's something going on somewhere in Nigeria right now. In a region in Nigeria, for it's going to happen for one week. I'm not going to talk. I'm not, I'm not going to expand it on that. But it's going to happen for one week, and nobody's saying anything in Nigeria. The people that are supposed to speak out are not speaking out. We are seeing videos online. But if Bongoli talks about it, and they say Bongoli, yeah, yeah, tribalism, Bongoli, something, 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 something. They are, but nobody's saying a word about it. And we are seeing videos, we are seeing kids. Kids. Look at what they are doing to kids. Mm. And it's, it's going to happen for one week. Like, oh. It's going to happen like for I one week. Oh. You like us. Like I said, Bongoli, Bongoli, Mo, no talk about them. Mo, no talk about them. Because it will ignite the polity. And before you know it, I know what I went through when we're talking about Lagos and the origin of Lagos and the way people came to attack me and started labeling me. So I just said, you know what? There are some certain matters, especially with regard to some certain tribes that I will just wash my hands off. I will not say PIM. I will not say PIM so that I will not be misquoted tomorrow because some people are waiting with their pen and paper and they are tape recorder to misquote me. Yala yada dilemma misquote. Now na papa na go misquote. So, like you've with said rightly though this, this live was about something entirely See, they pay me, i know in, 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 or, in my you know, i told to you it's like it's paining me you know that thing is paining me it's paining me it's paining all of us and you know that's about to speak out are not speaking out no no they're not speaking and nobody speak is out. saying anything we can't even speak out big shout out to my number one gifter sunday on nama thank you so much and my number two gifter simon templar Thank you so much to all of you watching on TikTok. I love you guys. Um, YouTube, Facebook, I love you guys. Bongo Lee. Someone said, I'm that not scared you. of anybody. I'm you know me. I just don't want to be misquoted. If I say something and I'm quoted, I don't mind. I just don't like being misquoted. So in they say mm. the silence cannot be misquoted. Misquote me now. Misquote me. You can't misquote me because I've not said anything. But the moment I say something, what they're going to do is they're going to morph it, they're going to add to it, they're going to bend it, and they're going to come and cry, uh, all these emotional... Uh, well, let me tell you the truth. We need to tell ourselves the truth. I don't know how that Anambra girl with that jam result, how it turned into an ethnic thing. How did it... That if it's, you, ethnic thing, that if, ethnic thing. That if it's, you know that if there were no ethnic rhetorics, it would have died a natural death. Like it happened, we see it for news, it go. That if it's, I think I sent you an article, there was an article on Premium Times. They talked about in the last couple of years, there were about 
seven prominent ones of this same situation, this same jam, whatever. And all seven were from a certain region. Were well, from a certain region. If they brought that thing out, now, if people that were reading that thing now would say it's ethnicity, let us call these things what it is, what they are. Like I was saying on your platform the other day, the girl has openly confessed on Channel TV that she checked it and it's 249. She has openly confessed. The thing is, the people that Meanwhile, work with her, they yes, walk around I her. Wanted to bring to, I wanted to bring to my life today just because I was so busy. Her son got 353. Mm -hmm. One of the highest in Port Harcourt. 353. And guess what? The boy is Igbo. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, why are we... I wanted to bring that child, to praise that child, to show you that that particular girl now you get problem. No be race. No be tribe. That Daddy girl... Free. Daddy problem. Free, the number one in 2023 is from Anambra. Yeah, what in Keshi? In Keshi is number one in I, Nigeria. I, I cannot show you the boy because he's a kid, but I was still chatting with his mother today. The boy had, she sent it to me, said, This is my son. His name is Richard Nikechuku. He scored 353 and he had 99% in maths. Mm -hmm. If you see the fine boy, babe, see the boy. The Ibo investigation has been finished. There's nothing like make we finish the investigation. Jam has I, I finished the investigation. Clear court. Yeah, boy. 353. So, so, he scored 99 so, in math. In the whole math, he missed one question. They should not. That if people should stop saying that, let them finish investigation. Jam, did, you know what happened that if mm. Jam used a hammer to kill and to neutralize an ant. That's what Jam did. Like people are calling us out we are not a strong institution you see this one we'll chase it till the end and that's what happened so people are not like ah it's too much now no it's not when i was too much when i was in primary school i can remember the penalty for exam malpractice was 21 years in prison my father used to ring it into my head that you know if they catch you doing exam malpractice by the time you come out you'll be an old man from the 80s nine penalty for examination malpractice was 21 years let's not treat it like it's some small thing that is no uh daddy freeze is it not a 19 year old girl in Bayesa state that was doing a revenge uh, revenge whatever on uh, one uh, top politician like that they put that the doctor now 19 year old girl in Bayesa state two years ago last year or two years ago yes now so anyway um I it's been it's been so lovely we've had a minimum of 900 the numbers just dropped to about 820 people watching us live uh, throughout today on TikTok, it was about 200 on youtube about a hundred and something and on facebook 201 thank you guys so much i'm going to come back to this particular topic because i've not exhausted it it became a diaspora versus uh, nigeria topic <laughs> dj bongoli thank you so much i appreciate you thank you daddy um, and all of you out there, just keep praying Nigeria gets better because it is all Amen. to our advantage. Take care.